Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. The stars of early summer nights welcome in the new season and say farewell to the old. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. Even though this week is the first week of summer for the Northern Hemisphere, we can still see many of the bright stars of late spring. However, they won't be around long because the brightest stars of summer are rising and announcing that they will soon take over the heavens. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for this week and next. Just after dark, which will be between 10 and 11 p.m., for many of you, facing north, where you will see the Little Dipper at its very highest above the North Star. In fact, the North Star is the star at the end of the handle of the Little Dipper. Now, the Little Dipper is not nearly as large or bright as the Big Dipper, which is directly to its left in the northwest. Four stars mark its cup, and three stars mark its handle. And once you've found it, you can shoot an arrow through its handle to find the third brightest star in the sky, Arcturus, which is the major star of Boötes the Herdsman. Although the entire constellation looks something like a kite. You can extend that arrow from Arcturus over to the brightest star of Virgo, which is Spica. Remember, Arc to Arcturus, then speed on to Spica. Now, we can tell from the stars alone that spring is almost over because spring's most famous constellation is just above the western horizon. A sickle-shaped pattern or backward question mark of stars marks the front part of Leo the lion and a triangle of stars marks his rear and he will soon disappear below the horizon as summer stars take over evening skies. Next, if you turn 180 degrees around and face east, you will see the three incredibly bright stars which mark the points of a very large triangle, the brightest of which is Vega, the second brightest Altair, and the third Deneb, the three stars which mark the points of the Great Summer Triangle. And every summer in mid-June, just after it gets good and dark out, we always see this triangle of three celestial dazzlers rising above the eastern horizon. Of course, my personal favorite stars of summer are always somewhere in the southeast, south, or southwest. So just look south. And there you'll see a giant fish hook shaped pattern of stars, which is none other than summer's infamous Scorpius the Scorpion, which is trailed by the teapot shaped portion of stars, which make a part of the constellation Sagittarius the Centaur. So there you have it bright summer stars announcing their arrival and the stars of spring bidding us farewell. Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Sky Watcher is also available for $19.95.